look at that. That's a shot cord. Look at this guy. Look at that, guys. Hey folks, Bill here with Catch-22. Today we're talking about the Old Town Nex. The Old Town Nex is a hybrid between a kayak and a canoe. It is not a new boat by any means. I've had this boat since 2018, so this video is a long time coming. I've got to tell you, this is one of my favorite boats. It is so versatile, it is stable, it is fast, and it is comfortable. I really enjoy this boat. I use it in all sorts of applications like fishing and camping or just recreational kayaking. I really enjoy being in this vessel. I initially got the next as a uh, grab and go kayak. I needed something that was a little bit lighter, a little bit less maintenance, um, something that I can just throw in the back of the truck, find a body of water, and, um, and, and enjoy myself. I'll start off by giving you guys the meat and potatoes of this review and give you the specs on the boat before I uh, <laughs> garnish with my opinions. The length of the boat is 13 feet. The uh, width at the uh, center is 29 inches. Uh, you have a depth of 11 and a half inches. It has a weight capacity of 450 pounds. Plenty of uh, weight for you and your gear. Uh, it's got a flat bottom. It comes in this blue that you see here, and it also comes in a gray color. As you're about to see, I've used some Yak Gear products to uh, mod out the boat. And the first thing I'm going to show you here is a bungee that I ran on both the bow and the stern. You're going to have to excuse my uh, black fingernails. I have three daughters, and uh, sometimes daddy-daughter time is painting my nails. So, yeah. Uh, back to the boat. Uh, that's a bungee kit that I got from uh, Yak Gear. Installed it, pretty simple. You have a molded handle right there at the stern, easy to lift the boat. There's a support beam right here where I took a piece of Yak Gear track and I split it uh, between the both, both sides so I can add rods. Here we have the element seat from Old Town, which I love. It's a super comfortable seat. You're slightly elevated off of the floor of the boat and you have this uh, backpack of sorts um, to the back of the uh, the back of the seat, which is one of my favorite features. I wish I wish Old Town would uh, put it on some of the newer seats that are coming out. They seem to have uh, left that off. I really enjoy it. Uh, you have adjustable straps. You can adjust uh, the back of the chair, so you are extremely comfortable for a full day on the water. Right here is how you can adjust uh, forward and back um, in the boat with this seat. It doesn't have a high-low position. Uh, again, it is uh, it is somewhere in the center of uh, center of uh, the height of this boat where where your uh, seat is rested. And it, and and truthfully, I think it's the perfect uh, height. I've installed some uh, matting onto the deck again from Yak Gear. Another support where I added another Yak Gear uh, track. Again, that's to put a camera on or a rod holder. You have footrests. Again, for a, a nice, comfortable day of paddling. And then, of course, in the front, I added more bungee. This helps out when I'm loading it with gear. Um, if I'm going uh, on, a, on, a, on a camping trip, all my gear goes under there and it's safely secured under those bungees. Again, uh, from Yak Gear. Great products. Really, really nice price. Quality stuff. Another molded handle and this awesome vintage logo right at the right at the front of the boat. I really like that. The color again is this sharp blue with this orange accent to it. Yeah, Gear sent me a sticker with my purchase. Happy to put that on the boat. It's a really sharp boat, guys. It's got a slight rocker for some straight, smooth tracking. This Carlisle Next paddle is a perfect match to the boat. It's a nice paddle. It's a three-position paddle. 
It's carbon. These are grips that I got from Yak Gear that are super comfortable. Um, they, they're they versatile. They go on any uh, paddle you have. Got your drip ring. You want to keep it about a hand's uh, space between the paddle. This paddle and boat make a great, great pair. Those grips are super comfortable. You really need to try them. And again, you can get them from yakgear.com. Here I am uh, fishing, enjoying myself, and a pike comes and just takes my lure. Unbelievable. One of the great things about this type of boat is you can go into the backwaters. You can find a body of water that doesn't have access for larger boats, and you can just drag your, um, drag your next to the water, go right on in, and you can see how grassy and weedy this area is that I'm in. And I, I glide through easily. Something I can't do with my Predator PDL. Uh, my prop would constantly get into those weeds. Um, but you just glide right over in this. Super stable. Um, I've hooked into a fish here that's, that's pretty sizable. And you can see that um, I am comfortable in the boat it's giving me a bit of a sleigh ride but that's all right that's why we kayak fish but if you see that grass mat and those lily pads there's no way you're pedaling through that or running a motor through that but in a boat like this you can just glide right over top and get to the fish she gave me a nice little fight nice little ride Again, nice fish. It's post spawn, so she spawned out, but uh, still a lot of fun to catch. And the next brought me to her. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Being out in the water is always such a therapeutic and enjoyable time. Having a simple boat like the next. Um, doesn't distract from that at all. That leech in his mouth. Here I am on the Huron River, uh, doing a little camping, a little kayak camping, and uh, I just uh, made it to camp. You can see my boat there on the shore. Perfect, perfect boat for camping. Something I can't do in a lot of my uh, other boats because there's either um, a pedal drive in the way, or, or there's a trolling motor in the way, or um, gear that can't get stowed properly, I can take my little girl out on the water with me. This is my daughter, Hope. Maybe she's going on four years old here. She's, she's five now, but I'm able to take her out on the water with me, enjoy some time, and uh, share a moment with her. And she fits just fine in the boat. Again, something I can't do in a lot of uh, a lot of my other kayaks. She's comfortable, and I'm comfortable. Just a bit of transparency. I am on the Old Town fishing team, but um, I was not asked to make this review, and I'm not getting paid to do that. These are my opinions, and I just wanted to share them with you. Anyways, folks, I hope this video helped you in some way. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and until next time, this is Catch-22. I'm Bill Polkowski, and I'll catch you out on the water.